Good morning, folks. And here's some news from the man himself, Mr. Casey Hudson, after how many years of flying planes and not being employed by Bioware. He's been working on a new project, and that project is called Humanoid Studios. This was reported just this morning on all kinds of websites, in case you don't know Bioware, uh, or in case he left Bioware back in 2014 after being there for 16 years. Then he came back in 2017, and then he left just last year in 2020. So now he's back. What is he doing? Well, he's opening his own game studio called Humanoid Studios. Not the most original name, but yeah, just the name. No big deal. And here it is. Here's the website. It's bare bones, which is totally fine. Now, this does tell me one thing about Casey is that he's publicly looking for talent. He has these ideas. He wants to make games still. And he's like, I don't have enough people. I don't have enough people behind me. I don't have enough resources. I need people. I need blood. So maybe he's got some financial backing. Maybe he's got some uh, angel investors. Maybe he's using his own money. Who knows? But this tells me that he's looking for talent. And this is all within the world of Alberta and British Columbia. So they have two they have two offices. And that's purely because of COVID. So I'm assuming Alberta is going to be his, his base of operations, uh, which is central Canada. Kind of cold. They're really, really freaking cold. Like minus 30 centigrade in the winter. So I don't know why. that Maybe it's a family thing. I have no idea. Anyway. So let's look at what he wants. He wants a programmer, a designer, uh, a director of operations. Okay, so he wants someone to to be the producer or the, the manager of these things. He doesn't have one yet. A creative director, so the guy who controls the designers and the creative direction of things. A environmental artist, very important. Level designer and 3D artist. So he's hiring everyone. He doesn't have anyone yet picked out. Or he does have a few and he wants to have a public offering for everyone to open up and see their talents and see what's going on. Now, let's look at some of these because they do tell its own story. Uh, We have the gameplay designer, kind of the, 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 the creative of the ideas of these people. And they are using the Unreal Engine. And you can go through all of this. They're all using Unreal. Little proprietary EA crap with Frostbite. It's all just Unreal which is great. It's free nowadays. Anyone can start up their own game until you want to sell stuff. So they, he has experience with it at least. I'm sure he's done some programming somewhere with C++ in Unreal. So good for him. And he knows what not to do. That's a good first step. Now, one thing which was interesting was the director of operations. And this is the kind of guy who makes sure everything's running smoothly. I'm assuming they're only going to be making one game at a time. That would make more sense. And uh, they're focusing on all on that. Now, one description which I found interesting was the drive a program of ancillary products based on humanoid IP, such as movies and TV, toys, books, and apparel. Books I can understand. Stories I can understand. But TV, toys, and movies? That's a bit, uh, that's a bit different. That's um, outside the scope of a director of operations for a brand new company, unless you want to make merch or swag. I could see apparel being like that for any any typical product. But uh, no, TV and movies are a whole other ballgame. And I don't know why you'd want a director of operations, especially when you have a background in film production and or radio and television. It, it could work. If you're just managing stuff, but uh, strange, strange uh, requirements. I would imagine you wanted a guy purely focused on making a game. You can then prove yourself with that successful game. And I'm not just talking financially successful, but commercially, meaning, oh, I want to see more of this product. Therefore, I would like to buy apparel. I would like to see more content in a different medium like TV or, or a book. So that would make sense, but this is this is all pie in the sky sort of stuff. So that's all there is to it. Uh, Casey Hudson's finally uh, doing stuff <laughs> or deciding to do stuff with not much, but hey, you got to start somewhere, Casey. Good for you. 
I hope it's all smooth sailing from here on in. And uh, the, the Bioware days are long over. Have a great day, guys. Take it easy.